with this question, I'd like to welcome you to the mental playground. This particular question is so delightful. It makes you solving it feel like finding the last slice of pizza at a party. Challenging, rewarding, and everyone wants a piece. About the pieces, though. In this particular question, you need to fill the shape with three piece combinations. You need to find the combination that perfectly fits the target shape. And you need to select this combination out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Being an existing subscriber or potentially a future subscriber, I have full confidence that you can solve this challenge by giving yourself enough time to think about it. Are you ready? Let's compare the results of your amazing thinking with what I think might be a possible solution to ensure that you've got the right answer. Even though this problem seems complicated, I'm going to show you how to solve it in three simple steps. Step one. In this problem, we have a target shape and we have three puzzle pieces for each answer. In step one, we need to examine each puzzle piece and target shape very closely. Make sure you take note of all the shapes, angles, and how they can potentially fit together. In step two, you need to experiment with rotating and flipping puzzle pieces. Sometimes a piece that initially seemed incompatible can fit perfectly when you rotate it or when you flip it. And then in the step three, you need to make sure you use the entire space within the target object and cover all the squares. Consider how each piece contributes to the overall completion of the target shape. You're probably eager to learn what the final answer is. The answer is choice B. I'm pretty sure you've guessed it right. The three-step methodology I shared with you work very well for this types of question. But I am going to share with you amazing tip and trick on how you can expedite the process. There is a simple math trick we can use to accelerate finding the right solution. Take a close look to see how target shape is broken down into squares. There are 13 squares inside. Now let's count the squares in each one of the choices. The choice A has 12 squares, choice B has 13 squares, choice C has 12 squares, and choice D has 13. Using this simple trick, you can quickly eliminate choices A and C and work with remaining choices to find the correct answer. And now you can challenge yourself with this puzzling assessment test question by keeping in mind, though, that the process of finding the answer sharpens your ability to strategize and devise efficient solutions. You're presented with 3x3 matrix. Matrix consists of large squares, and each large square has four small squares inside. Small squares follow some sort of pattern, and this is something you need to determine and select the missing answer, which is the ninth square out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I found my version of the answer and I'm looking to forward to share with you my problem-solving strategies. Let's dive into the solution together, and as usual, if you have any unique ideas, please share them in comments for everyone's benefit. To better understand the rows, let's mark each one of them with the letter. From top to bottom, the rows will be A, B, and C. Now let's look closely at the darker squares in the row A. From left to right, the darker square shifts clockwise when we go to the next item. For example, in the leftmost column, the darker square is in the upper right, then it shifts in the lower right, then it shifts to the lower left. If you look closely, the pattern continues in the row B. One important tip for you to solve these types of problems on your own is to look for the shapes shifting in clockwise or counterclockwise patterns to determine the final solution. Once we've determined the pattern, we know how to solve this challenge. The correct answer here will be choice B where the next darker square will be in the upper right corner. Well, 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 I don't want you to get too comfortable here. Here's the question to put your skills to test. Take your time to work on this independently and leave your answer in comments. I'll be checking it to provide my thoughts. You're presented with three squares and you need to determine which item comes next. 
and you need to select the next square out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, or D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with your answer. I have full confidence that you can solve this question on your own. And once you do, make sure to post your answer in comments of this video so I can give you my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck. Let's challenge ourselves with this puzzling assessment test question by keeping in mind that the process of finding the answer sharpens your ability to visualize objects, make mental spatial decisions, and devise efficient solutions. You are presented with the partial object, which consists of squares, small blue squares. But your goal is to build the large square by selecting one out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. All these answer choices look so similar. But wait a second, I think I might know how to solve it. So having found my answer, I'm looking forward to share it with you and share all my problem-solving strategies. Let's dive into solution together. And obviously, if you have any unique ideas, please share them in comments for everyone's benefit. Let's first confirm at what we're dealing with here. We have a target square, which will have a size 5 by 5. Target square consists of the small squares. And some of the small squares at the bottom part of the large square are missing. Our goal is to find the shape which fits perfectly to complete the large square. The question is how? I think one of the best ways to do it might be to break the large square into the column and then look at how many small squares are missing per column. If we do that, we will see that for the leftmost column, the number of missing small squares would be 4. For the second column, we would be missing 1 square. Then we would be missing 3 squares and then we would be missing 1 square. For the fifth column, we will not be missing any squares. Based on this, let's select the target shape out of the presented choices. Is choice D. Let's try to fit it, and I think it fits perfectly. Did you come up with the different answer? Or maybe you know the better way to solve it? Please make sure to post in comments so we can all learn. I love this question because it really boosts your IQ and improves your intelligence. You're presented with three rows of objects. Each object represents a square and circle inside. You need to select the missing object out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. I have full confidence that you figured it out by now. And this is why I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To better solve this challenge, let's assign columns and rows to each object here in the picture. We will have columns A, B, and C, and rows 1, 2, and 3. This would allow us to reference objects better. As you might have guessed, each row describes the pattern of ball bouncing against the wall. Let's start by looking at the object A1. This is where the ball in the upper left corner and it moves downwards toward the middle of the bottom section. And this is where exactly we see the ball in the object B1. After that, ball bounces and moves upward and this is how we see it in C1. When ball bounces against the wall, it travels in the direction based on the angle of the initial impact. After the initial impact, the ball will continue moving in the new direction until acted upon by another force, such as hitting another wall or an object. Let's confirm this pattern by looking at the row 2. In the object A2, we see the ball against the left wall. Then it moves toward the bottom wall and then bounces against the bottom wall and then moves toward the right wall. Knowing the pattern, we can easily detect the answer now. If you look closely at the picture, the ball in the row 3 moves from the position 1 to the position 2 and then to the position 3. So the correct answer here is choice C. Did you get to the same answer? Or maybe you know the tips how to solve these problems better. Please make sure to post and share them in comments so we can all learn.